My name is Russell Stein. I'm a staff engineer in the material science department. I get involved in industry sponsored research as well as help manage and run the foundry deformation lab and seven other labs that are associated with the foundry and deformation lab. We got a powdered bed fusion DMP Flex 350 from 3D Systems through Scarlet Incorporated. The material science department is heavily involved in metals, alloy research, and also I've been involved in 3D printing for about six years, and I'm referring to metal 3D printing, WAM specifically. So having this powder bed fusion machine is a big steroid shot for our capabilities and research that we'll be doing in the future. Specifically, the powdered metallurgy department will be customizing alloys and we're going to play with those in this machine and, and see what happens. We are working on an atomizer uh, in the material science department, so we plan on making our own alloys and then putting them in this machine and, and printing parts and doing characterization for microstructure, uh, material properties, uh, to see what we can do with our own alloys. Scarlet, I, I explain them as a full service supplier. They come in and, and work with you on initial selection of product, what you're going to do, what you need it for, to they, they get into making sure you're trained, they help you get set up and operational for the, the machine setup, and then afterwards they want to make sure you're successful and able to print parts and even help out with marketing. So it's been a really good experience. I feel very privileged to have been selected to run and manage this machine and be trained. It's very exciting. I'm very interested in additive manufacturing and I've been working on that for a while. And now that we've stepped up to the pinnacle of powder bed fusion with this 3D systems machine, it's, it's going to be very exciting moving forward. My name is Bill Predabon. I'm chair of the Department of Mechanical Engineering, Engineering Mechanics, and I've been at Michigan Tech for some time. We did a benchmarking study and looked at all of the systems that are made today in the U.S. and abroad. And through that study, we ended up deciding on 3D systems. Well, I, I would just add that this, is a, this system is really, as I mentioned, a game changer, and we're pleased to work with Scarlett. In, in securing it and we feel right now we'll have an edge across the U.S. in terms for our students and their education whether it be senior design or other projects and then in research with our faculty. I have a lot of pride in the university being an alumni so I'm really excited for the university to see what they can do with it because I, I also think that when you put a tool like this in the hands of such capable individuals they're going to do some amazing things. 